we are talking today about outer planets and um and and i want to work our way from jupiter outward normally um jupiter and saturn is the um are the first is the first pair of planets that go out into the social realms even though mars is outside of the orbit of earth its astronomical proximity um, um, enables us to still refer to it as a personal planet so the personal planets become the luminaries the moon and the sun and mercury venus and mars and it's not until we get to jupiter that the distances begin to get a little uh, crazy astronomical and um, and Jupiter's job is to take all of our personal energy, our Sun, Mercury, Venus, and Mars, and to extend it into social realms. Um, Jupiter basically is part of a team of Jupiter and Saturn that become the cosmic regulators. In fact, um, Jupiter is the symbol of Jupiter is the um, uh, waxing moon rising in the east over the cross of the material universe. Um, I, I believe your video might lag my talking just slightly. The connection here is not the greatest connection in the world. But when we look at Jupiter, we can see the crescent moon on the eastern side of the cardinal cross, the cardinal cross representing the material universe. And, um, and Jupiter being the singular largest planet in the solar system. I believe that if you saw our solar system from a distance from another star system, um, it, it would look like a binary star system um, or one that was just barely a binary star system. Jupiter, as you probably know, is the only planet that emits more energy than it receives although the energy that it emits is not in the visible spectrum that reflects um, the, vis the energy that it emits is in the radio frequency and X-ray spectrum, um, but that would technically make Jupiter and the sun a binary star system. If Jupiter was a little bit bigger um, or if its chemistry was slightly different, it might have reached critical mass and become a second star in our little neighborhood. Um, Jupiter is considered to be the king of the gods. In Latin, it was Optimus Maximus, the all good, all powerful. I sometimes say with tongue in cheek that Jupiter doesn't have a shadow um, because everything about it is, is, is positive. Um, and I will, I'm going to say this here when we're talking about Jupiter. I'm going to say this again in a little bit when we're talking about Neptune. But Jupiter and Neptune are the same planet. I know that sounds crazy at first, but basically um, Neptune is simply Jupiter that's freed from the restraints of Saturn. Or to say that the other way, Jupiter is Neptune that is, um, that is restrained by Saturn. Jupiter is expansive, but Jupiter can only expand to the limits of Saturn. Saturn is the outward bound. Saturn is the circumference. Uh, beyond Saturn um, becomes the, um, well, to the ancients before there was telescopes, um, Saturn was the outward circumference and beyond that there was nothing until you went to the um, crystalline sphere of the fixed stars. Sat I'm sorry, Jupiter is expansive. Wherever Jupiter is in a chart, whether it's by birth or by transit, Jupiter makes things seem bigger, better, and more. Um, and bigger and better and more sound really good, but bigger and better and more are not always good. Ask anyone who has been in a dance with cells that don't know how to respect Saturnian boundaries and they keep expanding bigger and bigger and bigger because all cancer is from an astrological perspective, I don't mean all that it is, but it's basically Jupiter not respecting Saturn. Um, so bigger, better, more is okay, but in many instances, I always think of Mae West saying, um, um, you know, that, you know, that, uh, um, what's the line? Um, uh, um, when it comes to fun, you know, more is always better. Um, you know, it's the bigger, the better. And unfortunately, anything in right quantity can be healthy 
but things that are tonic in Jupiterian doses can become toxic. Jupiter, Zeus, Pater, Zeus, Pater, Jupiter, Jupiter, Father, Sky. Linguistically, Jupiter in the um, in the Romantic English, um, Greek, Aramaic, Indo-European languages, the sounds of of gas escaping, b, g, f, um, these are all p, pop, big, baby, buoyant, jolly, um, um, beneficent, uh, um, bountiful. Um, even the word Jupiter, these are all linguistically um, Jupiterian, and you can almost hear Jupiter when you go, the, it's the sounds of g, g gas, escaping, popping, exploding, balloon. Jupiter is, um, is, is certainly um, bringing things um, to a point um, where it can't expand any farther. And the reason why it can't expand any farther is it bumps into Saturn. I want to say a quick word about Jupiter as it relates to um, faith and hope. Faith is a belief, so is hope. But I have Buddhist friends who always remind me that when we talk about hope, we have to look at its shadow side because hope puts the solution to the present moment into the future and it takes our attention away from the present moment. And so there's a certain tyranny in hope that becomes invisible because we just hope things will get better in the future rather than actually taking power and doing something about it in the present moment. In many ways, Saturn is the singular, um, singularly most important planet when it comes to transits, maybe even in the chart itself. That might be silly to say because obviously you take any planet out and the whole system collapses. Um, but um, but to the ancients, Saturn was the serious planet. It was the gatekeeper. The Greeks believed that our soul, um, as it descended toward, um, toward Earth, it first had to come through the gates of Saturn and then down through Jupiter and Mars and through all the planets until here we were on Earth. In fact, Saturn as the gatekeeper, as the gatekeeper between the physical and the metaphysical dimensions. I've read recently, as maybe some of you have, that Saturn's rings are disintegrating faster than we expected. And I find that very interesting because I believe that all signs point to the fact that the, that the um, ancient uh, role of Saturn as the dividing line between physical and metaphysical, as the dividing line between the profane and the sacred, between here and there, um, that Saturn's role as the wall between fact and fiction, um, Saturn's, Saturn's wall has become um, permeable, and Saturn isn't quite as... Um, um, as um, strong a boundary as it once was. We'll talk more about that when we get into the outer planet, into the outer, outer planets, the transpersonal planets, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Um, 